Let's bring in Lee Genier, please, the president of the Rattlers. I want to read, I wanted you on, Lee, while I read this message from Sherry in Edmonton. Sherry LaCasse, she says, I shoot photographs for the CFL, CEBL, FC, and the CEBL games are by far the most fun to watch and go to. Everyone should try and experience at least one game. You guys got some fun stuff happening this summer in the CEBL. Am I right? Absolutely. You were there last week. You saw this fun, man. You were sitting courtside, so uh, yeah, we bring it every game. Thanks to you, I was sitting courtside. But, Lee, I was making my way around Sastel Center. You know how I like to do that. And everybody said that was the biggest crowd of the year. It was a tough game. You guys had some injury issues and lost at home. But uh, tell me a little bit what's going on with the round. The crowds are getting bigger. You got a new face tomorrow night. So this is an exciting game against Scarborough Friday night. Yeah, we we recently signed uh, Teddy Allen, so you know we'll, he's he'll be in our in our lineup tomorrow night, which is going to be really exciting. Teddy buckets, as he's known affectionately, because he drops so many buckets. So, yeah, as I've nicknamed him, forty six, because he needs to beat Jalen Harris's forty five uh, league setting record. So um, we're looking for forty six points out of uh, Teddy buckets tomorrow. Were the people right in the crowd at Cecil Center that, that that was your biggest crowd of the year? Uh, you know what? It was one of our biggest crowds, for sure. Like, our crowds have, you know, I'm going to say have doubled since last year, and uh, they just keep getting bigger. We're expecting a huge crowd tomorrow night as well. So it's, And as we go down our last four regular home games, we're, we could have a, a record-setting crowd on July 18th as well. So got to love it. Okay, so yeah, so Friday night, Scarborough sc shooting stars in town. But look, I'm getting hooked into this. Um, you were the guy that brought me to the CEBL in the first place. It's now in year six. T to the point that I'm watching you on the road in Edmonton, man, and that was a gut-wrencher there on Monday in an afternoon matinee. What's the te television deal with both Game Plus and TSN done? It was a game last night. I watched the game in Winnipeg. What's that done for the league in your mind, Lee? Oh, our our viewership has, you know, it's I think it's up like 600 uh, percent this past year alone. So we're seeing just incredible uh, viewership numbers and just really, cre you know, just that one, the linear footprint across Canada and then our digital footprint around the world. So, I mean, we're just continuing to grow this product, uh, you know, Canadian and worldwide as well. So it's huge for us, as you know. Well, I know a little too much in that I know you're five and seven. So you went from the best start of franchise history to five and seven. How did you get here and where are you going in your mind? Well, you know what? We did have some injury issues our, our last two games. Like we on uh, the game last Saturday, we had all of our Americans out of the game uh, you know, we were down three starters, so you can't. It's a pretty tough league when you when you lose three starters uh, of a game. So we're in, in Edmonton. We were playing with eight Canadians and one American. So we had some roster troubles, but we're back and you know back on track. We have some more announcements that'll come today. New roster moves, guys. It'll be in the lineup in addition to Teddy Allen tomorrow night. So we're pretty excited about that and uh, and getting back on the winning track here. Well, you've worked in a variety of sports, as have I, and you can throw the Olympics into your resume. Basketball's got 12 guys. Hockey's got 20. Baseball's got 25. Football's got 55. I, I don't know enough about basketball to say, with all this change, what does that do to a team? Is that a good thing or not necessarily a good thing? How long does it take a new guy, like Teddy Allen would fit in anywhere, but in terms of cohesion, how big? Because in football... It's a big deal to make changes. What, what is it in basketball? Yeah, I mean, we tried to get these guys in right away. So these guys have been in and uh, in practicing uh, yesterday, and they're practicing today. So they are, um, you know, coach is going to get them up to up to speed on the system and, uh, and um, get them locked and loaded for tomorrow, right? Like I said, Teddy knows, oh, okay. Teddy knows the... Um, you know, he's just got to drop a lot of buckets. Guys are excited to have him here. And, and uh, you know, we're going to have a new point guard as, as well on, in, the, in the lineup as well. So, you know, again, just had missed those pieces. And, you know, things happen abruptly. And uh, I'm going to say injuries cost us two games. So it's, it's nice to have these guys back. And, you know, guys come in 
into the lineup, have some fresh faces, some fresh legs in there, and uh, beat the crap out of the Scarborough starting shooting stars. Shooting stars. Are you anticip two two prong question? Are you anticipating the biggest crowd of the year tomorrow night? A and B. Do you think? The Saskatchewan Rattlers can set the league attendance record, whether it's Friday or some, some point this summer. Do you think they could do it? Um, you know what? It, it, it's going to be interesting July 11th because, uh, you know, we, we have this huge uh, rivalry with Winnipeg now. They they signed Justin Wright Foreman recently. We got Teddy Allen. Those two guys are uh, going to go battling. So I look uh, next Thursday night, I would say that we would uh, look to set a new attendance record for sure. So that will... We'll have a big crowd here tomorrow night, but next week, uh, you know, you get a huge matchup of two of the best players in the league. Okay, I apologize. This could go on forever, but as the president, you know every aspect of the operation. And I want to ask you, are these one-year contracts for the players? They are. Yeah, I mean, we they are one-year contracts, but, you know... It, even in that right, you know, is we're pretty fluid in our in our roster. So, you know, you'll see you'll see some news come out later today. This uh, on some of our roster moves because guys have had opportunities to uh, to go to other leagues. We've lost some guys to the NBA summer league, and you always wish them all the best. Right? They come up here, they played their hearts out, but uh, you know they're looking for their next huge opportunity, and um, that's all you do is come up here, make an impact, and then you get eyes on you, and you're off to the next to the next job well my point my question on that is that that you could that's a i would think the coaches and gms and in your case larry abney and barry rollick like that because you could go from worst to first pretty fast in terms of recruiting and so forth there's a lot of flexibility there with the rosters is what i was getting at yeah there is for sure i mean it, it's been um, i'm gonna say a lot you know a long week because you know, like I say, we've had to make four roster moves here, and uh, you know, you got guys, two guys coming out of New York yesterday, and you know, getting in the, into the lineup, and a uh, bunch of paperwork, medicals. So yeah, things are things mm -hmm. can change pretty quickly. Yes, we're five and seven. We're much better than a five and seven team, and uh, like I say, we lost a couple of real close ones. But again, we we look to get back on the winning track tomorrow night. So. And we're we're one last game one. back of uh, you know, one game back of a playoff spot. So okay, well now as you know, all you got to do is get in. But yeah, I can see that you're in the store downtown Saskatoon. Every single person in that dang crowd at Sastel Center is wearing Rattlers gear. And you and I have discussed this before. What's been the secret to that? And what are they saying when they're buying this gear? Like they can't get enough of it. Yeah, we are just having a stellar year on our merch side. I mean, uh, Kurt, our uh, our intern here, he's he's working in in you know we're setting a, a new record on our merch sales this year. So, you know, great to see everybody in the crowd wearing wearing the gear. You know, just walking around the city here and just seeing people wearing gear, love it. So uh, that's all part of it, building the brand and moving forward. Is you know everybody's got their hats, they've got our our jerseys on our t-shirts and um no we just keep moving along so. good stuff all right well good luck tomorrow night good luck getting into the playoffs i'll see you soon lee all right always appreciate you roddy same to you the president of the saskatchewan rattlers lee genier in their home friday night to scarborough